Hello guys, welcome to another JSON video and in this video I am going to show you the review of Dream UX MDK ROM version 3.8 for this Samsung Galaxy J7 2015 and without wasting more time, let's start. So before starting the review I just want to tell you guys something like show you guys something that I was just doing the anti-to benchmark of the test okay the test got over successfully I just press the home button and oh where are my apps app drawer or something called as the launcher where is it like where it is it's not responding So guys let's start with the MDK 3.8 review and here you can see it has the S8 launcher inbuilt so no need to replace any APK files and everything the wallpaper is not inbuilt uh, I have downloaded it from it and if you want the wallpaper the link is in the description and here is the anti-do benchmark I have downloaded some apps okay the voltage is running too I will show you the like zooming CPU at least also working so no choice for uh, like bugs in this ROM every other thing is working let's go to settings and here is the about device okay go to some DK 3.8 now let's go to uh, I will show you the uh, RAM performance and everything the storage first we get so here is the storage graph Okay, it's checking let it check I downloaded many apps till now it's taking too long time so you can know the RAM performance is very bad through Enigma but still battery life is better than Enigma version 4.1 okay it's taking too much time 8.4 GB of 16 so it's too much used when compared to Enigma 4.1 with uh, like similar number of apps or there it was extra some apps were extra so this is uh, totally weird and here we can find add away so I don't think I will use it I don't use add away because I am on YouTube and I don't use it if you want to use it you can use it I don't care but I don't use it and I will use ES file explorer to tamper the system settings and everything yeah entity benchmark is also available here okay let's view the RAM usage now oh, what is this the sensitivity, uh, sensitivity okay storage showing 7.6 GB free still it's a red symbol okay RAM now clean now okay 446 MB so it's like near to the Enigma but not, not better than it and I will show you my battery graph see battery usage graph and now I've just done it 100% before like 7 hours are completed and 17 hours 36 minutes is the estimated use time screen on time is like one or nearly and we have 86 percent battery so if you use it for one hour it will drop out 14 percent with heavy facebook users i use facebook a lot whatsapp very uh, low in the this phone and screen on time is here so i'm not use youtube a long time like only five minutes i've used so this was it and now i will uh, show you the end to the benchmark test and i uh, cut that clip because my camera battery drained out and here i will show you the end to the benchmark results i have got 
okay so i got 39979 which is very lower than that of enigma version 4.1 i have showed you if you not watched that video for enigma version 4.1 i have shown you all details and user details battery usage everything so please click on this icon you can see this i icon to get to the video and here you can see ranking 2 and where it ranks below the vivo x9 plus and oh shit it's like literally down down to all those devices so it's a very poor rating for it and it's not near like near it's just near to 40,000 just near 21 more points but it's not really 40,000 because any more 40,400 something so that was better but in the like I was talking about the battery life the battery life on this is very impressive as I already showed you the battery life and every details now here's some S8 launcher tricks you can use here you can add some hair and you can clear the screens too and you have the widgets tool to have new widgets now more about thinking this ROM has the new Samsung theme support that's great totally now the UI is changed like literally we get a very smooth UI now wallpapers are here so as you can see and I will keep this wallpaper now to give it a more asset look and this one too as my home screen one okay so now our phone is having a good asset look and you can see the phone is sometimes laggy and doesn't respond and as you saw the uh, the clip before the, uh, this video that after I shot the okay now after I did the I did a benchmark on this device the launcher just disappeared like nothing was appearing I just click every time and then I just did a hot reboot and everything was okay so I think this is something interesting that is not working apps perform very well the multitasking multi windows have been performing really very well and okay here uh, multi windows are working really well no issues according to the multi window or anything but some lag is observed as you can see it's facebook and whatsapp by the way and lag is observed truly so this was another thing I didn't like. So uh, this was the review and details about the Enigma S. Uh, so not the Enigma, Dream UX MDK ROM version 3.8 S8 Nougat style, and it is a very really cool ROM. If you want a UI, get a greater battery life than Enigma, I would suggest just go to this ROM because this is better than Enigma version 4 in terms of battery life, and many people want battery life. And uh, game performance like I was playing Gangster Vegas but I didn't see any clear gaming there. Some glitches like oh not glitches like it was lagging and sometimes it was not working. I don't know why it worked in Enigma version 4 and sometimes it was not like opening time was very low. So this was some uh, this was my review on this MDK version 3.8. I don't know which one you will use. Let's now install it. And I will show you the process of installing. Now I will just okay recovery mode, not the download mode. Let's put to recovery. Now we are in the team win recovery project, and I just add the brightness and everything, so it will look more good. Now just go to wipe if you are from any other ROM. If you're from MDK ROM, just uh, okay. First of all, if you're from any other ROM, just backup. Okay, I just forgot this. And also, yeah, back up this EFS and select storage SD card and and this everything I select is called as a non Android backup. Now just wipe, advance, wipe, Delvic cage data, system and just push it. Let this everything get wiped. Everything is wiped. Just go back, install, and here is the MDK ROM. And with this ROM, you have to flash your CSC. So I'm an Indian, I will flash the Indian CSC. The link is in the description of the Google Drive and they will find various CSC versions. You need to flash for your country or like your specific thing, you know. So I will just flash it now. Let's focus on it. Yeah, flash it. 
Oh wow, this is uh, my installer and I don't have it. I will just select like backup EFS. Okay, this is going to take more time now. Shit. The installation is over. Now just skip next and uncheck this. Now the CSC will also be flashed for your device or the country. If you don't know what CST to flash, just ask me in the comments. Yeah, it's got a set boot logo too. So yeah, if you like this video, please press the like button. And if you dislike this, please press the dislike and give me feedback down below in the comments. So yeah, S8 animation too. And if you like this animation and the logo and the review and everything, subscribe to my channel and also give a like yeah don't dislike please and yeah if you have any comments below down in the comment section for help and any feedback or everything so yeah this will boot up skip it uh, skip the setup wizard and or you can set up it here and let's go so bye this was review and it was very funny like i was like unable to speak this review like i am too sleepy so goodbye now good night bye okay bye